Hey everyone, today we're talking about custom redirects. So custom redirects in Pardot are essentially Pardot trackable URLs. So you're able to view a report of every person in Pardot that has clicked that custom redirect. It's also gonna track visitor clicks as well. So if you use this in a social post or on your website or anywhere outside of Pardot stuff, you're able to view you know, all the link clicks. Now, when it comes to visitors, you're not gonna be able to see who those people are because they're visitors, they don't exist in Pardot. But again, it will count that link click towards the overall report. Another thing with custom redirects, you have the ability to provide actions to prospects whenever they've clicked a custom redirect. So this kind of goes with, you know, the importance of that link click. How important is it to you that they click that specific link? That's where you can provide unique actions for a unique URL. So for, you know, one custom redirect, whenever, whenever a prospect clicks it, I might want to add them to a list and maybe assign them to a user. Maybe for a different custom redirect, I want to create them as a Salesforce task and choose who is going to get that task and, you know, write some details about that task as well. You'll see whenever we, we get into the details of all the different types of actions that you can do to a prospect. Now, again, that just goes kind of hand in hand with the reason for the custom redirect, where are they being sent? How important is it to you that they've clicked that to really justify the type of action that they're receiving? So you can see here, I've got three examples of custom redirects. I have one that's called product A interest link another that's called product B interest link, and then another one that's going to be used on a banner ad. So, you know, how can we use custom redirects? So you can use these within your Pardot marketing content, like hyperlinking text or hyperlinking an image with your Pardot emails, as well as your Pardot landing pages, things of that nature. But you can also use them outside of Pardot marketing content. So maybe put a custom redirect on your website to track activity. Maybe put it in a social post like Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, things like that. Or maybe even, you know, links to files that you don't host. And as you can see, that example I gave of a banner ad, you can use these with banner ads like Google ads, Facebook banner ads, LinkedIn ads, anything like that. Just go ahead and hyperlink it with the custom redirect that Pardot gives you. So I'm just going to go into this one, product A, and let's take a look at the details. So if I click edit, um, now when you're creating a custom redirect, just like every other, you know, marketing asset or anything that you create in Pardot, you're going to give it the name, folder, campaign, all that basic stuff. Now for custom redirects, you're given a destination URL. So where are they being sent whenever they click this custom redirect? Now, you know, I'm just sending them, sending us to our homepage for an example, but Really, for this example, product A interest link, I'm more than likely going to redirect the prospects to a page that contains product A information. So maybe I'm linking them back to the product A page that's associated with our website. Maybe I have a completely different web page that I've created that contains product A information, but it doesn't live on my website. Either way, you're putting the URL right there, wherever they're going to be redirected when clicking that custom redirect. Scrolling down, here are the available actions. So for this one, whenever somebody clicks it, I'm adding them to a list called product A interest. I'm also adding a tag to these prospects called product A interest, right? So the, the concept of this one is that I'm going to use this custom redirect within an email and it's going to be in a section that's talking about product A. And I'll have a hyperlink that says, you know, click here to learn more about product A or, you know, something along the lines of that. Now, the workflow that we're looking at right here is whenever they're, they click the link, they're being added to the list called product A interest. Now, I could do a bunch of things with that list. I could use that list over time to send list emails about product A. Or I could even use that list with an, enga an engagement studio that would send out automated emails containing information about product A, right? The whole concept is they've clicked it for that product interest reason. Therefore, it's letting you know to some certain degree they have interest in product A, which now that we have that in Pardot, we can use that information to help us out in our marketing efforts. Now, going back to the custom redirects, we have one for product B and that's the same concept, except I'm adding them to a list called product B and then I'm adding a tag to them that's called product B as well. So, you know, same concept, except, you know, I would use this list within an engagement studio for product B information, or maybe continue to use this list to send people list emails 
about product B information, right? So it goes hand in hand with the reason for the custom redirect. So back over here in my email, I have one section that's dedicated to product A and then another section at the bottom that's dedicated to product B. So if I wanted to use a custom redirect within this email, all I'm gonna do is highlight the text or you can even highlight an image and hyperlink it. And then I'm gonna click this little link button, right? So once you do that, you can see the default link type is always gonna be URL. And that's just the standard hyperlink, right? You, you, you have no ability to add actions or anything like that, but you create the custom redirect and then you choose that custom redirect to be the hyperlink within the email. So for the product A section, I'm going to use the product A interest link and then click OK, right? And then the same thing with the section for product B, right? I'm going to go ahead and highlight my text and then I'm going to hyperlink it to that corresponding link, right? Product B, product B. There you go. So now I've added two custom redirects within this email, right? One up here that's going to the product A page and the one down here that's going to the product B page, okay? This is also another great way of how you use custom redir redirects within an email. Because think about it, if you ever wanted to add multiple links within your email, but you want something different to happen to them per link click, that's where custom redirects come in play and they can be very handy. Because as you can see here, I've got the product A link that's going to the product A page, product B link going to the product B, B page. And of course, depending on the importance, that's where I can specify the actions. You know, how important is it to us whenever they click this custom redirect? So for those examples of product A and product B, I'm simply just adding them to a list that I'm gonna use later on in the future because if people have clicked it, that's some degree of interest that they've shown in that specific product line of ours. So let's say that, you know, people have been clicking, clicking these links that are being added to the list. Well, I've got some engagement studios set up. Right, I've got one for product B and then another for product A. So going back to that workflow of them being added to the list, what if I wanna use that list within these programs? So I would you know, go ahead and open up the product A newsletter one. And I'm gonna choose the list of people to be involved in it, right? So recipient list, I'm gonna choose the product A interest list, right? Remember that is the list that people are being added to whenever they click the product A custom redirect, okay? And then I'll just go ahead and save that. So now the process would be, let's go to our custom redirect. So if somebody clicks that product A interest link, remember they're being added to the list that's called product A interest. I just chose that list to be involved with the engagement studio for product A newsletter. So the process would be, they click that custom redirect, it adds them to a list, that list is being used with this engagement studio, which means they're gonna start receiving the emails that are within that program, right? Same concept for product B, except I would choose the list that says product B interest, right? It's because it contains different information, right? Now with the reporting on custom redirects, if you just open that up, click view report in the top right hand corner, here are the statistics that you get for this link click, right? So you have unique clicks, total clicks, unique being the first time somebody has clicked this link, total clicks are going to be that first time as well as any other additional click by that specific person, right? So you can see at the very bottom, it's going to give you a table of prospects that have clicked this custom redirect. Now, if I was a visitor, I wouldn't be in this section, but it would count my link click because it's tracking every single link click out there. Going back into a custom redirect, let's take a look at the link that they give us. So you can see that they give us a tracked URL. It's got your, you know, your vanity your, or your, your C name alias. So since this is a dev org, that's why it just says linuxsoft.com, but in your, you know, production environment, it would say, you know, go.yourcompany.com or whatever you guys decided for the C name. You also have a shortened URL that Pardot provides you, which is going to be a bit.ly link. Just because it doesn't say tracked short URL, that does not mean that it's not tracked. So if I click the short URL, it's going to send us to that location. And if you remember from the example, I just gave our, you know, homepage. But if we go back and view the report, you can see that it's counting my click, right? And since I am a prospect in this uh, developer org of mine, it already you know displays me in the prospect section, right? So it's you know clearly tra clearly tracking my click. 
So those are your custom redirects. If you have any questions or need any help, please feel free to reach out to us.